Well, I am here with Hannah Smith. She is the Director of Philanthropy with the Crossroads of Western Iowa. Um, Hannah, so great to see you and thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. Well, let's just first, let's talk about the mission um, and who the Crossroads of Western Iowa, who do you serve? Yes, absolutely. So the mission of Crossroads is to empower individuals with intellectual disabilities, physical disabilities, and individuals living with traumatic brain injuries to actively seek out opportunities for an enhanced quality of life. Um, yeah, very important. I mean, you, you, your, your organization does such great work. And I want Project Hope um, Project Hope, I wrote that down right before we, we you know, started recording. Tell me, what is Project Hope? Yes, I'm so excited to share this with you. So this year, instead of asking for support from our community, we're taking the opportunity to support our community with our new project. And so Project Hope was born because Crossroads is entering into the mental health and behavioral health space. And we see a need in the Omaha Metro and the Southwest Iowa community for mental health support in light of the current pandemic. So we're offering free virtual mental health sessions with world renowned experts that have been featured wow. on the show, uh, Oprah, Dateline and more. So it's a really, it's kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity that we're able to provide. How did this come about? I mean, well, well, because we are entering the behavioral and mental health space, we've been taking a hard look at what our communities really need along the I-29 corridor in the Omaha metro area. And we, we saw a need and we wanted to fill it. And thankfully, we've been able to secure some grant funding to allow us to provide this amazing opportunity. So was this something like, did somebody in your organization um, come up with this or was this something already in place that the grant money then provides a service? I'm just cur I'm curious. I have no idea. Yeah, so we actually met together as a team to discuss what we wanted to do for our community. Um, we had several members of the team together in a brainstorming session and we were able to come up with this amazing idea, not knowing for sure if we would be able to secure the funding and thankfully we were. And it's just really taken off from there and, and become a, a reality for us. So we're excited for these sessions to begin and they start in December and they go through January. So we're trying to get the word out and let everyone know. And primarily we're offering these sessions to um, individuals who are essential workers and students and yeah. adolescents and also first responders. Yeah, because I mean, like, you know, we both know, I mean, this year has been unlike any other year, I mean, ever. And, and mental health is, I mean, what gets you carries the day and gets you through the day and and the year is is your mental health and sometimes i mean this has probably been the, the most challenging um for a lot of people to be able to just maintain that center and that that place um of, of peace and being able to offer something like this is is so important so how do people i mean where can people go to to find yes. that so glad you asked that. They can go to explorecrossroads.com forward slash project hope and there's tabs there. You can learn more about the project or if you're an essential worker, you can click on that tab and it'll take you right where you need to go. And I, I would like to mention that these are interactive sessions. So there will be question and answer opportunities with these, you know, mental health experts. And it's, it's really going to be um, an engaging experience for those that participate. Yeah. So important. Um, so any other, we've, we've got just a, you know, about 30 seconds left. Any other, any other ways that people can support Crossroads of Western Iowa? I mean, over the season as we kind of get through the end of the year. Yes, absolutely. Um, you can always go to our website, explorecrossroads.com and hit the donate tab. We are always appreciative, appreciative of that. Um, and really spread the word. If you know essential workers and students that might really need uh, this, this lift and this opportunity, share that with them and let them know that they can go to our website and get registered and um, take part in this. All right. Well, Hannah, thank you so much. It's great to learn more about Crossroads of Western Iowa. Wonderful to learn about Project Hope. So um, just excited and thank, yeah, thank you and thank your organization for, for doing this for, for our communities, so. Thank you so much, Andy.
You're welcome. All right, we'll be right back.